Hello YouTube, this is CIPad back with another video. I know it's been a while. Alright, today I'm going to be talking about a really good app called GoodReader. Let's go ahead and get it open. You can see it's pretty quick to open even with the crazy amount of files I have in it. GoodReader is for any file format really. I mainly have PDFs in here, but uh, you can have JPEGs like I have right here, uh, Word documents here, PDGs like I said. You can have a ton of different file formats in here. Uh, I really like that aspect because not everything is available in PDF format so it's good to have a versatile app that can open different things. We'll get into the features here pretty quick but under the documents here, I've got a little little pigsty here. It's just random mixture of documents, but I do have one folder. And something I really like about this, you can organize groups of documents into a folder. Like right here, I've got my my uh, vacation paperwork all organized into one folder. If I wanted to, I could put all the the like files in a folder together, so I don't have such a mess here. I I'll get to that eventually, but right now I like it how it is. Like I said, you can go, or you can have uh, PDFs in here. It's a really big help. Let me find a good one to open. All right, one of the features when you click on one of the PDFs or anything, you can have it open into a preview right here. And you can change that within the uh, settings here. You can. There we go. Don't preview this document. So if you got something that you don't want somebody clicking through on your iPad and, and they see anything in that preview that you don't want anybody else to see, you can turn it off. Okay, so we got our, our document in preview mode right now. And you can just click the preview and it opens right up. I've got it in landscape mode right now, so it's it's gonna look like this. I'll go ahead and flip it for you guys. There we go, in portrait. It's almost a full size page. It's very quick with the page turns. I mean, you can rifle through them really fast. You click the page up top here, oops, it has your previously open files. So if you're flipping back and forth between one and another, you can just click your previously open files right here. It's really simple. And if you don't want them up there, you can just click the X and it's gone. Click the page. It's got a pretty handy zoom feature on it. Just double click will zoom in as far as you need. Pinch out to get back out of it. You can also pinch in to vary your size of zoom. It goes in pretty far. Alright, a single click again, you have all these options on the side right here. You can just click through them, see what they do, and add bookmarks. You can uh, add text in here. You can type something in, and it's saved to that page. So next time you get to that page, if you have a note on there, you can go right to it and see. Put in little pop-up notes. highlight different things that's a really handy handy thing especially if you're studying or anything that you need to remember it's good to, good to have there and underline words a lot of handy study tools on here squiggles, strike out, square circles, squiggle lines anything there is a feature on here where you can write. Still kind of new with the app, so maybe it's this one. There we go, freehand. You can do whatever you want. Like I said, with the stylus, it's it's a lot easier. But uh, if you need something on here, like if this is an old old version. 
a little reminder to yourself to update it. And you can change your uh, how dark it is on there. Make it almost see through so you can still read what's behind the the drawing you have on there. I really like that feature though. Because if you need to make any kind of notes, it's it's easy to do. And you can change the size of the line too. So if it's too thick, that's really thin there. But if it's too thick of a line you can you can tone <coughs> excuse me, tone it down a little bit. Now at the bottom you can change your brightness. So if you're on an airplane reading something you don't want to disturb the person next to you with a really bright screen. Change your brightness there if, if it hurts your eyes or anything. You can change it to, well, I know what this is called, but it's a different color of text. So if it does bother your eyes, it's a lot easier like this. There's another variation of it. Automatic scrolling. So you don't have to touch it if you're reading through. You can change your speeds of the scroll also. There's just so many features on here, it's, it's crazy. It's way better than any of the other PDF readers, I think. Cropping pages. You can sort through the entire thing. If you want to go to your tables, there's no tables in this one. If you want to go to the contents, it's right there. You can go to page numbers by typing it in so you don't have to swipe a hundred times to get to a different page. Here's a, another good feature. You can email it, copy it, print it, anything from open it in a different format. And you can lock it so there's no changes made to it. So if you do make any handwritten notes on here, just click that padlock and you won't accidentally delete it. Go back to my documents. Now, those are just the features within the document. Now at the main menu you've got another ton of features there's your preview you can turn it on or off for every document not just single one like I was talking about earlier pretty simple find files if you have a million of them like I do here and you don't feel like searching through all of them you can find a file Manage your files with stars, names, rename them, put them in folders like I said earlier. Just click new folder and you got a new folder. Download straight from the internet on the iPad itself. And connect into servers. You can bring up your your photos in this too if you want to open them in this PDF reader any of the photos you have on your iPad and then the padlock again so nobody can mess with your area here another cool thing about it uh, I mean they're just PDFs but I've got a few comic books on here that's really a neat feature if you're into comics this is where the zoom comes in really handy if you want to look at one frame Go frame by frame, zoom back out. This is a two page layout. You can see where the spine is right there. This was a PDF or a comic book that was scanned in by hand, apparently. That's a, a handy use for it. Got a lot of books on here, a lot of personal files. The possibilities are endless with this as far as text files and pictures and different formats go. Alright, that has been Goodreader. Here it is right here. Oops. Goodreader. If you got any PDFs or anything that you look at a lot, that's a, a good app to have. I think it's $5, but it's definitely worth it. Alright, this is C iPad. See you next time. Thanks.